his last fight. And Rayfield suggested to Hopkins two possible opponents. Oh, oh big oh, right hand. He's out. Oh, out three. Oh, gosh. oh my gosh. That's Joe Smith, yeah, that's who Dan Rayfield suggested as an opponent, Five, has just knocked six, Bernard Hopkins out of the seven, ring. Eight, nine, out of the ring. Ten, eleven, he should have 20 12, seconds to get back in. If he can get back in in 20 14, seconds, he's not knocked 15, out. And I don't think he's aware of that. And he's being he's assisted. Out, he's 18, being assisted by a lot of people at ringside. He's out on his feet. That should disqualify him. He's out on his feet, though. And it's over. It's over, and it's going to be a knockout victory for Joe Smith. Bernard Hopkins got knocked out of the ring almost exactly as Joe Lewis did against Rocky Marciano in his last fight. Harold, I'm saying this is over. Is it over? Jim, it should be over. If you get knocked out of the ring, you got 20 seconds to get back into the ring. Bernard Hopkins didn't do it. It should be over. All night long, Joe Smith was flirting with landing something huge. And that time, he landed something huge. And it's a huge win for Joe Smith. And it's still an extraordinary thing to see Bernard Hopkins push himself to beyond the limits of where anyone else has gone in terms of what he was able to achieve at a late age in his career. But there is an end point. Here's another look at what happened. Joe Smith lands a left hook, another left hook, and then a big punch. Was a big punch, Joe. Was and a big Hopkins through the ropes. That one hurt him. Yeah, the right hand was huge. Yeah, that one finished it. And that was a big punch through the ropes. He landed on his head. That's what Pretty hurt. Pretty remarkable that he's still conscious. Yes, that's what hurt. Better look from this angle. Right hand was huge. Another left hook, another left hook, through the ropes, onto his head. 15, 16. Ali Bengu, whose real names were Millie Franks, uh, was a Gambian wrestling hero and a popular local boy who became uh, one of the more than 4,700 migrant refugees to drown in the sea this year while embarking on an illegal journey to Europe. Our friends and relatives still have our fond memories of the late wrestler who excelled in the sport. Gambian wrestling. It's a hard fight, but thousands of mostly young men here have been facing a different kind of struggle, attempting the perilous journey to Europe in search of a new life. Mille Franck, who belonged to this wrestling team, drowned in the Mediterranean trying to cross from Libya to Italy. This one is river. Huh? You don't have anywhere to catch. Huh? Okay, in wrestling, if they hit you, you know that it's serious, you can run. But in the river, you cannot run there. To fans, he was known by his wrestling name, Mille Franck, a thousand francs. But he grew up in this neighborhood as Ali M. Bengu and worked as a tailor. He was a good guy, clean hearted, and a nice friend to meet with. Uh, he went to Libya because of, uh, he wanted to help his parents, his father, and mother, and his brothers. He was just one of the almost 5,000 economic migrants and refugees to drown trying to cross the Med so far this year. His departure was a surprise to friends and family. His death at the age of 22, a devastating shock. Where I'm standing here talking to you, I still did not believe that he is gone. Allah has taken him, but we haven't forgotten him. Gambling with your life, say the community, is not worth the risk. I don't advise them to go. Because it's not easy. Before you, you get money, you get your, your, your life. 
The opposition election win gave people something to cheer about, amid hopes it could help stem the exodus of young people as they look to a brighter future at home. But President Yahya Jammeh is now contesting his defeat. Politics isn't always a clean fight. Brazilian club Chapecoense have received the Copa Sudamericana Champions Trophy at the draw for the 2017 Copa Libertadores tournament. The team lost 19 players in a plane crash a few weeks ago. We reported this story and others and we'll now do a recap of them on Flashback. It was confirmed that Carlos Tevez will move to China's Shanghai Shenhua in a deal worth $80 million. The two-year deal, which earns the 32-year-old Argentine a whooping $763,000 per week, would make him the highest-paid footballer. Nigerian striker Godwin Obaji joined Tunisian club Etoile de Sahel on a four-and-a-half-year contract. The 19-year-old was the top scorer in the Nigeria Professional Football League with 18 goals last season. Cameroon confirmed Liverpool defender Joel Mati will not be part of the squad for the Africa Cup of Nations in January. The defender pulled out citing bad experience with previous staff. South African Football Association sacked Ephraim Sheikh Mashaba as head coach of Bafana Bafana. Disciplinary measures were also taken against the 66-year-old. Mashaba's future was under the microscope after he lashed out at his employers last month. Algerian defender Majid Bogera announced his retirement from professional football at the age of 34. Well, it's about time to call it a day on the show, and I will be doing so um, in a moment. But let's uh, take a look at what's uh, coming up as far as sport is concerned in the coming week. Well, there will be English Premier League uh, matches um, after Christmas. Uh, this is that time of the year when teams get to play many games and face the real test of time. On Monday, eight matches are on the card. Arsenal will hope to bounce back from two consecutive defeats when they host West Brom. Chelsea will target their 12th win in a row when Bournemouth come visiting. Sunderland travel to Manchester United, Manchester City, I wait to Hull City and Swansea play West Ham. On Tuesday, Tottenham Hotspur travel to Southampton. And that will be it on the show at this time, the 200th edition of the programme Sports Week. Many thanks to God. Many thanks to my production crew for making it happen. And many thanks to you out there for always keeping faith and watching us. Well, Merry Christmas, I must say, and God bless you. See you next time. I am Promise of Game.